Uh, my name is Joshua Benjamin. I'm a Kenyan and uh, currently a PhD candidate at the University of Florida. And uh, my focus is uh, uh, PhD in biology and uh, my research interest is more in um, freshwater biodiversity. So I do a lot of research on fish, uh, aquatic insects, the macro and water birds, and uh, I'm also interested in uh, ecotoxicology. Yeah, so this is the famous Mara ecosystem, the Mara, uh, Masai Mara Serengeti ecosystem. And the, uh, this is where we have the Mara River, the only perennial river system uh, within this ecosystem, which is the main um, lifeblood for both animals, which are really in this area, and also the people living in this catchment closer to a million people. So the famous migration, the wild abyss actually happens in this river. So if you have seen a lot of this film from the National Geographic um, of the wild abyss crossing from Tanzania, heading to Kenya, this is the river which they crossed. It ranges from land use, overall uh, pollution, uh, issues to do with agricultural uh, pesticides, fertilizers use. There is also a uh, huge withdrawal of this water by the people who are practicing agricultural uh, in large, large scales in this area where sometimes they actually do over withdrawal of this water from the Mara River and leaving minimal water in the river which cannot sustain its uh, uh, ecosystem uh, purposes just like to for the survival of fish or mussel and waterways or things like that. The other interesting aspect is uh, in the downstream section of this river, which is in the Tanzania, uh, we have people or uh, activities such as artisanal gold mining. And um, people are using mercury as an element for amalgamation to just acquire this mercury after mining. Those are some of the major stresses of this ecosystem, for sure, which I'm interested to see and how they can actually change. Uh, the biodiversity in this river. We do um, an array of activities because for the fish, we're interested to sampling the fish themselves. And this we use different techniques. We sample the fish, electrofishing is one of them. And by electrofishing, you just use the backpack electrofisher, which doesn't have any destructive impact on this river. It's the shock. Uh, the electric shock itself doesn't persist in the river for long. It's a few seconds. We have the fish which we, we wanted to catch, and uh, we only weigh them, uh, measure the length, and uh, take some of the tissue samples, maybe sometimes for the DNA or isotope and things like that. We also use gill netting and uh, stain netting in part of this, and we are interested to really quantify the abundance and diversity of these fish in this river because. We do not have like a baseline information of what we are losing. We also do the other aspect of the macro and vertebrates where for the aquatic insect, we're using the kit net sampler and we are taking these uh, samples from uh, multiple sites. So ideally we are sampling log along the longitudinal gradient all the way from the headwaters uh, to Lake Victoria in Tanzania actually. So the this river is a transboundary river between Kenya and Tanzania. So we are sampling all the way between these two countries. and. Uh, uh, macro invertebrates are really good to indicate in river health for sure. Last but not least, we also um, sample a lot of water samples. We do take a lot of sediment samples uh, as well as fish and macro invertebrates for trace element contamination. So we are also interested to see how much these organisms are bioaccumulated in their bodies as well. I was a kid, I was just intrigued by watching uh, movies from the National Geographic and I really was into conservation for sure. So my bachelor's degree is in environmental science and immediately I learned that my, I mean, my interests were more leaned into uh, aquatic system. So over time I've been really trying to like dig deeper to this freshwater e ecosystem because we are losing a lot of biodiversity in this system, which people don't know, you know? A lot of people are really into these big charismatic animals like elephants, lion, cheetahs, them, them, tigers. But a lot of people really don't know what we have in our aquatic systems. And uh, I was like, people study really big charismatic animals and nobody 
or few people are for sure interested in these aquatics more and it was like the bugs you know the aquatic insects and i was like i want to be the person who really wanna help people in kenya or the rest of the world know what we have in this freshwater ecosystem and well, that's what really inspired me 